All right, everybody, we are here. We are. Wait, I have recovered after being motion sick and just absolutely mind boggled by Mona's domain. We are finishing this story. Treasure Voyage. Oh, wait, not, not that. <laughs> not Treasure Voyage. This is it. Part 6. Like rhyme and song, the summer reverie. To find out the truth, everyone returns to the location of the mysterious machine to investigate. Alright. We're already here, thankfully. So... I'm so curious what this is all going to lead to. We have so many questions. What happened to Venti? Who was that voice that was talking to us? Who, By the way, I think that... I'm pretty sure that voice... Uh, I have been told in the comment section of the part 4 video that the voice matches the voice of... The mysterious voice we heard during the 2.8 live stream. Which is really interesting. But yeah, we have so many questions to answer. <laughs> Huh? Hey, look! Oh no, the he's been guy we saw on our first he's been here? overcome by the illusions. <laughs> Everyone's gone crazy. We Everyone need to we need to do something here. quickly. Well, they'll never wake up. But I was right, my precious. <laughs> you are invincible. <laughs> precious? What's his precious? A miracle is machine. What is machine? Definitely not impossible. So maybe this machine was this guy's idea and it just went wrong? I think he's referring to that machine. Yeah. What a drunkard. No, Michelle, not even drunkard. He's just gone. The machine's absolutely messed up this poor guy. Oh, goodness. The smell Wait. of alcohol. Wait, Wait, no, he's Freeline, actually drunk. Oh my allow god. Me to fan the fumes away with my wings. Uh, oh, so, yeah. Oh, excellent. Please fan them away for me too. Fan them away for me too, please. Certainly. I've checked the surroundings, but there's no one else here. Isn't that strange? The Fatui is a big what organization. What happened to them all? But he's the only one left at this camp. What's more, we what didn't even see him the last time. Driven we them were to here. disappear like that. Even the larger gentleman from the first time is missing. I think. Are they, they hiding? Must be hiding or... somewhere. As for I'm why gonna hope that they're hiding, just hiding. I'm afraid we'll have to ask him. But he's as drunk as tongue deaf fart. <laughs> <sighs> Should we wait for him to sober up? I don't think we have time to wait. Cleanse him with the holy spring of punishment. Huh? Are we gonna shock him away? Fräulein means to splash oh. him with water. Oh. I thought Miss Bishop was about to shock him Ooh, away. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Yeah, good old splash. Everyone takes out their water bottles and empties them on the collapsed Patui soldier. Hey, he opened his eyes. Uh, huh? Hey, are you one of the Fatui? Can you tell us what happened here and what that machine is for? Yeah. Fatui. Ha! Fatui! Are you not with the Fatui? Uh, those blockheads from the administration will regret it now! The what? <laughs> what That's is he what talking about? For rejecting my research and forcing me to... They rejected his research and he decided to continue it here on the Golden Apple Archipelago, but... Forcing me to... To conduct my research on this deserted island. <laughs> my precious... This thing is too dangerous. No wonder they didn't approve it. Uh, why is he crying? Maybe Looks we like don't fix this thing. Maybe we just emotions. find a way to shut it down. You mocked me and my precious invention. You, you don't know anything about the future. Only <laughs> my invention can help us conquer the world. <laughs> Was he going to put all of Tevat under an illusion? Idiots! Such idiots! <laughs> no! Ow! Don't hit me! I won't blow up the lab again. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, he's 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 not fully sobered up. This man's gone insane. There's no way we can communicate with him. He wasn't like this when we first met him. 
It looks like the effects have grown we worse. We need to find a way to shut this machine mad. down. My manuscript. My manuscript. Only that can, can say. Your what now? Where could it manuscript? be? Manuscript? Where is it? Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Look, if you want us to help you, you gotta tell us where it is. Then I'll... Let me try. Oh, are you just gonna divinate where it is? Uh, kind sir, look at me. Now tell me, where did you hide your manuscript? <laughs> I guess that's no. a... No, don't force me to write a report. <laughs> oh no, no he's so long gone. Uh, he's completely lost in his own imagination. Allow me. How's a... Hmm. Please excuse me. What is he doing? He threw him over his shoulder? <laughs> oh! My butt! Your butt? <laughs> so actually is, beating up this guy again. was the solution? It's not a mushy mess anymore. What? I can't believe Kaza actually resorted to violence. Can you tell me where you put the manuscript? Oh my, he got so serious. The manuscript. The manuscript is in the crack over there. <sighs> Finally. Otherwise, I was going to have to blast some of my loudest rock and roll in his ears. Did somebody say boom? <laughs> Kazuha hesitated for a long time before making a move. He's so nice. Yeah, but when he finally stopped hesitating, that was kind of scary. Everyone, let's search the stone cracks nearby for the manuscript. Summertime Odyssey, Act 6. What crack? He said in that crack over there, but... Oh, there? Okay. Found it! Wait, we, we were just here too, official. Congratulations, we found the key to solving the problem. Did, did we now, or do we find something worse? Let me see. Hmm. Mona takes the manuscript and studies it carefully. Just as I thought, this machinery named cognitive mimicry cognitive is capable mimicry. of altering the state of people's brains. What a horrifying name. It was invented name. by the researcher we met earlier. His name it reminds me of Cognitive Science from Persona 5. According to the manuscript, the Fatui officials did not support Persikov's research. They believed he had taken the wrong path. I mean, look at this. If he was going to use unleash this on all of Tevat, imagine what could have gone wrong. But Persikov insisted on putting his machine to use. In order to achieve that, he disassembled the machine and used his connections to transport the parts to this deserted island. How did they find this island? <sighs> the Fatui's intelligence yeah, this network island is, is not to be underestimated. Is on the complete other side of Tevat from them. Persikov was dead set on carrying out his experiments on this island. Most of his subjects were junior Fatui soldiers who all signed a waiver beforehand. But where did the, they go? It looks like they really thought this machine would benefit the Fatui. They thought that they probably putting Tevat under an illusion would have helped them somehow. How does the machine work? That's most likely top secret. The manuscript didn't reveal any details, but Persico yeah, did we don't mention want to actually explain how it was works. modeled after the power of a god. Power of a god. The power of the god. The power to manipulate people's minds. Just how far can the gods in this game go? Does that mean? There's a god connected to these dreamlike mirages, and oh, that's right. Have also, found a way to research it. One thing to, to keep note of is that there's so many gods in Tevat. We have the god of salt. We have Guoba. We have Guizhong, the goddess of dust. Um, in a way, you could count the. Oh my gosh, I, I can't remember them all. I saw a TikTok about this last week, actually, that discussed that Tevat has so many gods, and I guess there's a god of dreams. Clearly, other 
otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to reproduce the god's power. So there's some sort of mirage archon? I don't think so. It could... They don't necessarily have to be an archon. It could just be a god that can manipulate dreams. I know if we're actually going to assume that they are an archon. I know that... um. The Tevat chapter trailer, it would either have to be the god from Sumeru or the god of Fontaine. Because I believe both of those gods talked about hiding some type of secret or illusion or folly. Anyway, Persicov's experiment did not go as planned. The machine broke down just days after it was activated. They tried to fix it, but... The technologically illiterate Fatui soldiers completely ruined oh, the machine. Oh, they ruined it. Even its most important component of all, the crystalline cores, got ejected and disappeared. So the machine needs crystalline cores? A testament to the importance of maintenance in all aspects of life. Is that basically how I we can fix we this can thing? Do we even want this. to fix this thing? Persikov may be a mad scientist, but he didn't want to see his subordinates suffer. Besides, if he didn't solve the problem, he would end up going insane as well. As a last resort, Persikov went out on his own to look for the cores. But he was just a sickly researcher, unfit for the task. He had to give up. Then, Persikov went searching for the soldiers who had gone mad and strayed from the group, and took them to a hidden cave. Oh, so they are hiding. Well, I'm glad that they're okay. I think that was where they were at the day we arrived on this island. Persikov was taking a strong Fatui soldier somewhere. Oh, that big guy we saw that day? Yes. Took Persikov all of his strength to get all the missing soldiers into the cave. He tried to snap them out of it with music and poetry. And it didn't work? But nothing worked. Yeah. We came here once, but there was no one around. Come to think of it, that must have been the day Persikov yeah. was busy gathering and the soldiers into the cave. What we probably saw what was the last of the Fatui remaining to go into the cave. There's good news and bad news written on the last few pages. The good news is, Persikov managed to figure out the location of the crystalline cores by piecing together the snippets of information he could get from the delirious soldiers. And what's the bad news? The bad news is Persikov failed to revive them and eventually succumbed to the device's influence himself. The last few pages of the manuscript are just unintelligible drunken scribbles. Maybe we hope that we don't need those and we just put some crystalline cores in here and hope that it works? <sighs> It appears that the responsibility for this issue now falls to my retainers and I. So much for a vacation. There's a map in the manuscript. The Way to ignore me, Mona. The locations of the crystalline cores. <laughs> Love that they make it pretend like your dialogue options matter. Uh. Well, uh what are the? What does that mean? Oh my gosh, I'm going to screen grab this. Actually looking for these is going to be a pain in the hiney. We've got no choice but to find the crystalline cords now! Alright, we're back. That was... took forever. The crystalline cords, Mona. Is that all we needed to do? I think so. That's what the manuscript says, anyway. Th does that mean that one guy should be back to his senses now? Let's give it some time. Hopefully it'll return to normal. The sky doesn't look red anymore. That's something to look be happy about. Everyone sits by the campfire chatting and cooking barbecue. That's Once the machine is fixed, the situation seems to improve. Soon you hear footsteps approaching. It's the Fatui. <sighs> Someone's in a camp. Hi, are you gonna fight us? Hey, who are you people? We're just vacationing here. Hold on, look at the machine. Is it fixed? What? But Mr. Persikov is still lying on the ground over there. He just needs some time to get back to his senses. We're the ones who fix the machine. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> we could have had a nice relaxing vacation if all of this hadn't ended up occupying so much of our time. Truly. Hmm. Apologize to me and my retainers at once. Uh-huh. Oh no, oh no. I, I'm out of here. Hey, hey! Don't leave Are me. They're gonna now. they're gonna abandon Persikov. How about y'all go back to Snezhnaya with him? <laughs> Those 
two definitely seem a little more lucid now. Yeah, they sure it do. Looks like we succeeded. Yay! Let's get out of here. It's so weird that but do we feel like they sound the too quiet versus everyone else? Our own camp. Oh, you mean Clee's camp? Yeah, but it feels like our camp now. Kinda like our temporary home. <laughs> <laughs> then perhaps we should call it the Embassy of the Imanakrish and Total Dodo Land. Land. Aww. Huh? That's sweet. Look, too to many remember. words is fine. That suits official. Come on, let's go home now. We're we're going. We're leaving. But return to camp with everyone. Is this our ending then? I think we might be finally at the end. Oh, I this is this really it? We're gonna see one final cut scene. Well, wait, no, we still need to. What about Venti? What about? Big meal, then having a long lie down. Paimon's finally What about that voice we heard? <laughs> Is the hospitality of the Imanak Reich to thy liking? Maybe, Fischl. Paimon's loving it. I wonder, though, if Alice ha still had something to do with this, because... I still remember the conversation that her and Fischl had in the beginning. Wonderful. Main Fräulein invited you all here not only to witness the arrival of our Holy Land. Great. Well, I've come to the right place. I love it here. May this place become an eternal paradise. I hope it stays an eternal paradise this time after cleaning things up here again. Main Fräulein says she hopes to go on more adventures with you here in the future. I hope we can come back here, but who knows when the next time we'll be back here is. Of course! And you should come find me and Leo when you get the time. I'll show you around. You'll show us around? Oh, uh -huh. also, my friend runs the best restaurant yeah, in Leo. I'm sure you'll love it. If you're into opera, you should go see Yunjin. She's the nicest person, and she likes making friends with new and interesting people. Mm, I'm sure the two of you will have plenty to talk about with your shared passion for theatrics. Oh? If Lady Shinyan speaks so highly of it, then I must entertain the idea. Official's ignoring the fact that ignoring theatrics. Gee, Traveler, I have a suggestion. Mm. Huh? There's a snack called Roasted Lavender Melon in Inazuma, which goes rather well with fish. Why don't we roast some fruit and seafood for dinner tonight? I did Perilous Trail. I, I know that it sounds great. Oh? Did you try it in Inazuma? Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, I want to follow We were trapped in this chasm for world. like five days. Hopefully, I can also We were also seeing a bunch of illusions down there. Um, I got Paimon almost... Paimon was like passed out. Ita was passed out for the entirety of the end. <laughs> that means a lot coming from you. Oh, Kazuha. Yeah. We, I'm sure we'll go on uh, more adventures yeah. again soon. I don't know, though. When? I don't know when, but one day again. I've noticed an issue. Although we've fixed the machine, as you can see, the mirages on the islands have still not disappeared. Hmm. I've noticed that too. But considering it took some time for the mirages to appear, it may also take some time for them to disappear. What are, are we going to leave the machine here? I don't... I don't feel right leaving the machine fully operating here. Yes, that's definitely possible. In other news, my scry glass seems to be working fine now. The divination results are also looking about right. Although... Although what? Although there are some parts in the results that I don't quite understand. It's as if there is some sort of power surrounding us. And it's still watching us. It has to be that girl who was trying to reach out reach out to us on the phone. Do you think it's caused by the machine? Or perhaps Persikov? No. Sorry, I'm also not sure. All I know is that the power is not hostile at the moment. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to harbor any ill will toward us. That matches the, the voice we heard. She didn't seem to foster any ill will towards us at all. The group doesn't know it at all. I'll keep it in mind. Well, although there 
there's nothing left to disturb us and we can finally kick back and enjoy our vacation, we still ought to be cautious while we're on these islands. I wonder if they're going to add an afterword to this event. I will keep seeing what the stars say every day. If anyone knows that if they're going to add an afterword, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll record a little video for it if there is one. I promised Fischl that I'd be her guard. I can help. Aw, oh, Kazuha, you're too sweet. Good. I'll be counting on you. Goodness knows why those girls are so carefree about everything. <laughs> I suppose it falls to me to be extra vigilant. Paimon, uh, yeah, we should try calling Venti one last time. This is probably our last time we can use the phone. Oh, coming. Let's go over there. Oh, so we're gonna call the tone deaf bard, right? Or are we gonna call the girl? Dodeco. Well, hello there, strangers. <laughs> you finally called. I thought you were having so much fun that you'd completely forgotten about me. Mmm, we went through a lot, Venti. A lot of mind-boggling stuff. Nope. Oh, Tone Deaf Bard, a whole bunch of really strange things happened. You told v Venti everything that has happened on the islands these past few days. A strange machine that can imitate the power of a god? Oh, wow. I wonder if Venti knows <laughs> know exactly what god. Like Venti should know what god really they were trying to imitate. So, judging from your tone, it sounds like you don't know any more about this than we do. What? He has to know something. He knows He knows the gods. Alas, I am but a humble bard who sings for his mora in the tavern. Venti, so the one time we needed it? your help. Uh, the most. So annoying. <laughs> but other than that, did you two have fun? We did! We ate a lot of yummy food and saw loads of amazing things! It was really cool! It was such a spectacle, to say it nicely. <laughs> That's good. The point of traveling is to record any feelings stirred along the way. As long as you had an unforgettable experience, this journey has served its purpose. Well, I definitely recorded my experience. That's for as sure. As for the mysterious voice, Although we don't know who it was, not only did she not harm you, she also helped you to gain a better understanding of each other, right? But why would she help us that way if she doesn't know us that well? If you look at it that way, maybe she meant you well. I mean, if she was able to intercept Alice's communication tool, Venti, I'm sure do she's also plenty capable of attacking Why do you, you gotta say it like that, Venti? Hmm. Death Bard is right. Dot dot dot. I guess I understand. <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some peace of mind. Just enjoy your vacation to the fullest. And don't forget to tell me all about the marvelous mirages when you get back. I will have plenty to tell. Hopefully in the afterward chapter. Hopefully. I want to record all these beautiful memories and turn them into ballads. Every summer will become an unforgettable song. It's a deal. Then I'll just wait for your return. Happy vacationing. Happy vacationing. If Tom Deaf Bart thinks it's okay, then maybe there's nothing to worry about. I mean, what like he said, she could have attacked us already, but just why would I can't help but think that the the god that they were trying to imitate is this voice that we're speaking to. It's very possible. I've been trying not to go into it too much, but it's very much possible. Pretty sure. It's we it's our Dendro Archon. After all, Tonta Fart is still a god. We should probably trust him. Maybe. Let's head back. We don't want to keep everyone waiting. Hold on. Did official say earlier that she's going to catch some crabs? Oh, Paimon wants to go too! Now you have solved the mystery. Oh, it's her Doesn't again. Does it make you feel happy? Satisfied? I don't know. I still don't like that we're gonna let the machine sit there while it's actually working. And we left the Fatui also to their devices. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm just a little bird that sometimes flies by these islands. And I'm now bird. watching you from far, far away. 
I'm not sure if you're a bird, girl. I just so happened to sense a power here that has something to do with me. Oh, I so was it was her. So I landed on the beach to quietly watch everything that took place on these islands. Oh yeah, the machine is trying to imitate her power. This has to be the Dendro Archon. Or maybe... If it, well, considering it matches the voice we heard from the 2.8 livestream. Yeah, it has to be her. It was fascinating. The ones who came here to work were so busy, and yet, I still saw genuine smiles on their faces from time to time. And then all of you arrived later on, bringing your glorious dreamscapes and wonderful willpower. They sure were glorious. Your dreams are like the pure and delicate bubbles. I wish I could have seen the, the traveler's own domain. The more beautiful oh, well. the illusion, the more it fascinates me. I'm not able to travel myself, but I do admire free spirits like yourself. So, I helped them design a little something for you all. I hope you liked it. I guess, yeah, the traveler has to ask this. Who are you? As I said, I don't have an agenda. I'm just a little bird. I stopped here to admire your lives. Joys, sorrows, and all. I don't think you're just a bird. You are a special person with a unique and brilliant glow. I decided to communicate with you in this way because I'm really curious about you. There's no need to wonder about my name. Maybe one day in the future, we will meet in another place. It might be sooner than we think. When that time comes, I think you'll be able to recognize me. <laughs> I'm very sure of it. The voice has faded. Was she directly speaking into my mind? Hey, what are you doing? The crab Oh, I don't think Paimon themselves. heard any of that. So what did she mean? Dendro. Oh. Dendro, meet in another place, but when and where? I'm sure it will be very soon. And that is it. Nice foreshadowing, Hoyaverse. That was a very subtle, but also time-gated um foreshadowing for sumeru it was not quite the build-up we had in 1.6 leading up to inazuma but it was a small enough hint that i guess i could be satisfied with that but for now we seem to be done with the summertime odyssey story i again i don't know if they are going to do an afterwards chapter i mean they could totally talk about the fact that there's a this crazy machine that's still chilling out here. <laughs> um, there might be some stuff I missed. I don't know. I am going to be streaming on Twitch more Genshin eventually later on. Where we're going to be exploring the islands and actually doing the quests and getting all the conch shells for Fischl's outfit. I just wanted to get all the story and recording done out of the way. This was amazing. If they can keep up this level of writing for the Archon quest... I think we're going to be in for a pretty amazing story. I still have plenty of complaints for Sumeru, uh, especially design-wise of the characters. But... I will be... I, that is something I will keep keep vocal, being vocal about as we are going into Sumeru. But yeah, so what's the plan now for the channel, you might ask? Um... I believe next week is our event with Deluc. And also, um, on Thursday, I will be starting daily streams on Twitch here. I'm going to take a break tomorrow from streams because I've been streaming daily <laughs> for this, the sake of uh, this event. Uh, check what? It seems the two competitors are in good terms, but I'm surprised that Mona should hold back in a contest against Fischl. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, but yeah, um, we will try to do some island archipelago exploration streams, hopefully, before Deluxe's event. If not, then we'll do it after. But yeah, I did promise somebody. I, I will be uploading something else to the channel to hold us over before then, probably during the weekend. I'm gonna, I have some old videos of me doing the Labyrinth Warriors event. And I promised somebody in the comment section that I would upload it to the channel. So don't think I forgot. I will get that uploaded over the weekend and it'll be something that we can just look back on. Because I miss Tartaglia. 
his birthday is actually tomorrow in North America, so maybe I will get a video out. We'll see. Just uh, because I missed him. <laughs> maybe we'll run into him in 3.0 or later. Maybe. Anyway, that's enough of my babbling. Uh, if you've been listening in, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to talk about the story so far, your hopes for Sumeru, uh, talk about it in the comment section below. And by the way, no leaked talk, please. It, your comment will get removed. You might even get banned if it, the comment makes me angry enough, so don't even test it. <laughs> All right, that's enough of me talking. We will, if you want to keep talking about Genshin, do it in the comments, do it in my streams. I'm always down to talk about it. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I can catch you in whatever I do next. Bye-bye now.